And Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States. Well, please sit down. Well, thank you for joining us today in support of the Olympic coin program, which is contributing so much to our Olympic athletes. Understandably, there's been a lot of talk lately as to whether the games have a chance of success. Well, let me just say that it's unfortunate that some of the governments of less than free countries have decided for reasons of politics in spite that their athletes will not participate. But let there be no doubt the games will go on and the games will be tremendously successful. <laughs> the Olympic Games are a celebration of the capabilities of the human body and spirit, God's most magnificent creations. In the final analysis, the goal of those participating is to do their utmost and to put their skill and endurance to the test. I think we can all look forward to new records, fierce competition, and events with all the excitement and grandeur long associated with this festival of athletic excellence. Our athletes, as you're aware, are not supported by tax dollars. Instead, they depend on all of us, their fellow citizens, to contribute voluntarily uh, to the effort. And I think these fine young people representing us will tell you that they consider everyone who's helped out to be a part of the team. Now, this, that's an honor that's now available to all of us. Our team reflects the best of our country. And unlike those from some countries who may not be permitted to attend this year, we never have to worry that members of our team will, if given a chance, decide not to come home. This year, there's a program which is being operated at no cost to the government that provides a memorable way for us to support our American athletes, and this is the Olympic Coin Program. The Department of Treasury is offering three beautiful coins for sale to the public, a 1983 and 1984 silver dollar and a 1984 gold eagle. Certain proceeds from the sale of these coins are divided equally between the Los Angeles Olympic Organizing Committee and the U.S. Olympic Committee. To date, this program has contributed over $38 million to the two Olympic committees. It is the most successful Olympic coin program in history and rightfully so because these games promise to be an event that will be long remembered. And I want to congratulate Treasury Secretary Reagan for the fine job that he's done with this program. I also want to thank the Congress and the business community for their active support. I'm certain that our athletes deeply appreciate them and every American citizen who purchases these fine coins and thus supports the American team. And now I'm going to ask Secretary Reagan to tell us a little more about it. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, as you noted, uh, this uh, program is the most successful uh, coin program in history. However, we don't intend to rest on our laurels. We hope to make more Americans aware of these coins, and I'm confident that as we do, uh, Americans will be buying more and more of these valuable and very impressive coins. Uh, as well as supporting our Olympic athletes. Mr. President, I'd now like to give you, for you to present to Colonel Don Miller, the Executive Director of the United States Olympic Coin Committee, the first strike 1984 Gold Eagle, which is also the first gold coin minted in the United States in 50 years. I should add, Mr. President, that I had the pleasure and pl privilege of striking this beautiful coin at West Point last September. It will have to be taken honored place in the new museum of the United States Olympic Committee. And in closing, Mr. President, I'd like to thank all of those in Treasury, both in the uh, uh, Mint as well as uh, in other areas of Treasury, including the uh, Office of the Treasury of the United States, for all they've done to make this uh, coin program so successful. So here, Mr. President, is the first strike of the 1984 gold coin. <laughs> Are you, 
Are you sure you want to leave that in my hands? I used to run a quarter mile. <laughs> you may find that I'll uh, break 45 on a quarter mile after it. <laughs> Colonel Miller, I'm very proud and pleased to be able to present this to you. Thank you very much. For Mr. President, Mr. Secretary, distinguished guests, on behalf of the United States Olympic Committee and all our fine young amateur athletes, I would like to thank you, Mr. President, for presenting this first struck gold Olympic coin to the United States Olympic Committee. This coin will occupy an important position in Olympic history and will be displayed prominently in the Olympic Committee's museum. As you know, Mr. President, proceeds generated from the sale of the Olympic coins will enhance the ability of our current and our future athletes in their pursuit of excellence. And as a result of this, I can assure you, Mr. President, that our 1984 Olympic team, which will represent our country in the Olympic Games in Los Angeles, will be the best prepared team in the history of our country. And in closing, Mr. President, I would be remiss if I did not take this opportunity to thank you for your personal support of amateur sports and in particular, the Olympic movement. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Uh, on behalf of the Department of Treasury, and I, know so, I can also speak for the other officials of, of uh, the department, uh, various departments of government, uh, the executive branch, and the Congress, we greatly appreciate uh, your highlighting uh, this Olympic going, uh, gold coin program and the values that we uh, hold for it and the support that it gives to our athletes. Thank you again, Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you all again. Our little huddle up here is because no one had presented to you two of our Olympic athletes. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if I may have the pleasure of introducing uh, Melissa Bolot Hamlin, uh, former gold medal winner, <clears throat> and also Frank Maisley, who was our flag bearer in the 1980 Olympic Games in Sarajevo. Uh, 